Hi everybody, welcome to our website for our networking project. I'm going to give you a couple of uh, examples of some tools that we're going to use within this course. Uh, first one we're going to need to know is ipconfig, which tells us the IP address of our device. So ipconfig, and that gives us a listing of the IP addresses. And the device I'm on right now has both a wired and wireless adapter. Um, but I'm going to be only interested right now in my wireless adapter. So I'm going to make note of my IP address, and it's 192.168.1.100, and I'll use that for some of our later tools and bits of information. Um, another thing we can do is we can also use ping to ping an address, and that sends a small packet, and then the address or the, res the device responds back with an echo. So I can ping myself. Uh, 192.168.1.100 and that will send a packet to the network and then jump right back to my device and it shows that I'm actually on the wire on the network. Another thing I can do is I can ping my gateway which is dot one so this address here is my default gateway and I'm going to ping it and it's going to send four packets and the gateway will respond yep I received your packet and send it back so another thing we can do with ping is we can ping other computers. So one of the cool things about ping is it goes and it resolves either an IP address to a name or a name to an IP address by using the DNS tree. We'll talk about DNS later on in the course, but first let's just talk about pinging another address. So if I was to ping google.com, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to go ask what is the IP address of google.com. And then once it finds that information, it's going to say, okay, I'm going to send a ping packet to this address. And I'm going to make note of this address also, 172.217.12.142. Because I was able to ping that, I know that the address is active and that the device is responding. So the last thing we're going to show in our little demo here is how to use trace or trace route. Trace route is a tool that we use um, which incorporates a type of ping and it shows you the steps or the hops that it takes to get from your computer to another computer. So make a little space here and I'm going to use the command trace T R A C E R T. So trace route. Uh, and if you just do a front slash question mark on most of these tools, it gives you some information on what you can adjust within this tool at a command line. We're just going to use a straight trace route, and we're going to, instead of tracing to ourselves or something local, we're going to trace all the way out to Google. Google.com, and it should start tracing to the address down here, 172.217.12.142, just like we see here. And I'll pause for a moment so we can let those traces finish. Okay, so our trace is complete. And we can see that the trace showed all of the hops, except for one. One, it said request timed out. And actually, that's probably a security setting on that device where it doesn't like to respond by its name or its IP address. So it just it doesn't give you any response back because it's using that ping command to find its username or find the name of the computer and the IP of the computer. But it still lets the traffic get through. So we went from our computer and we went to our gateway, 1.1. We traced all the way down to google.com, which turns out to be 172.217.12.142. Um, interesting little bit of information here. If you see this domain, 1e100.net, that's actually Google. Google means um, one with 100 zeros next to it. So scientific notion, notation is 1e100 and .net, that actually translates to google.com. Just goofy little thing we know. So each of our hops in our network path gave us back either an IP address or a name and IP address and then some timings in between those steps. Later on we're going to use a tool to actually visualize this to show where those hops are going throughout the world and map them to a globe. Thanks for listening.